Vanadium is traditionally used in steel production, but now a new use is emerging in batteries to store solar power. And an Australian company is well on the way to exploiting this discovery. Extending power across this farm in Busselton, south of Perth, was a problem for the Stewart family. They looked at installing more poles and wires, but the cost blew them away. Shocked at just how much it is. I very much shocked at that. But secondly, actually trying to arrange a quote to get a ballpark figure is actually quite difficult. So the science teacher looked to solar power and batteries, but instead of choosing a common lithium iron battery, she hit upon a newer method of storing energy, vanadium batteries. The vanadium battery is a liquid storage system housed in a tank. The energy is stored in the electrolyte liquid. To increase capacity, it's as simple as adding more fluid to the tank. It claims to have a longer lifespan than other batteries and stores at least four times the amount of energy. Australian Vanadium Limited has started importing the batteries for the local market. The commercial lithium battery maybe have a life of between five and eight years. Um, you're looking at a vanadium flow battery that may have a life of about 20 years. The drawback to vanadium batteries is the expense, given the electrolyte fluid has to be imported from overseas, but that could be about to change. The company now wants to reduce the battery's cost by manufacturing the electrolyte fluid needed to store the energy in Australia rather than overseas. And it's researching the possibility out of this laboratory at the University of WA. Our job is to see if we can do it here or not. We're quite confident that we're going to be able to make this um, here at UWA. We're hoping that in the longer term there'll be opportunities for joint research projects. If Marek Sherikovsky's research is successful, the company also hopes to source its vanadium locally from its deposit south of Mikathara. Catherine Dis, ABC News.